What's going on, franchise fans? This is Royal A. Shepard here to bring you the very first edition of the Franchise Weekly Recap. Um, hi, I'm Carson Royal, quarterback for FAMU. I'm Akil Blunt, linebacker for FAMU. And you're watching, and you're watching Franchise Sports. So, on this week's recap, we're going to talk FSU and FAMU football. Uh, they both played games on Saturday where FSU took on Texas State University and uh, FAMU traveled down to Tampa to take on the USF Bulls. We'll start with FSU since that was the more highly anticipated of the two games. Florida State actually turned this game into a laugher pretty early. They got on the roll behind the legs of Dalvin Cook and Mario Pender. Uh, Dalvin Cook had 19 carries for 165 yards and Pender ended up with 14 carries for 92 yards and they really set the tone for this team and that was able to ease Everett Golston into his new role as the starting quarterback because he didn't really get rolling until the second half but he ended up finishing the game 19 for 25 for 302 yards and he ended up throwing four touchdown passes so a pretty good showing for Everett going forward but he didn't really show us anything that we didn't already know about him he had some pretty nice balls thrown downfield he stuck to the flats and kept it safe he controlled the ball controlled the flow of the game which really impressed head coach Jimbo Fisher. I like what Everett did, not just throwing the ball, but the way he managed the game. Got sent out the right way, got sent out the right checks. Did a really nice job in that regard. Uh, still got some things he's got to work on, a couple little things. Since I got back, there ain't, ain't been no lack of confidence with them. So I know coming to the game, they were very comfortable. So, you know, I believe in them guys, they believe in me. So, you know, we all trust one another, and I know we're going to do some great things out of FSU's defense was by far the most impressive unit of the evening, in my opinion. They did very well at containing one of the best offenses in the Sun Belt. They were able to use the depth at defensive line to continuously rotate guys in, get them reps, and they put pressure on the quarterback early and often. Now, they only got one sack and they only forced one turnover, but that doesn't speak to the, the level of dominance that they showed in this contest. Yeah, I thought we played very well the game. I thought we got after them, played well, had the one long drive late. There's some guys in the game that we've got to get better, get experience, we've got to play better. Yeah, I, like, I like the way the defense came out today. We, we started fast and uh, we, we, we ran the football very well and we executed pretty well today. And, uh, as far as for being the first game, we have a lot to improve on, but I, I like the way we FSU did, however, struggle on special teams. They cycled through three punt returners with issues holding on to the ball and eventually settled on Bobo Wilson in the back and he was able to get two returns off for 22 yards. But for the rest of the night, the coverage on the punt team, the, even the kickoff coverage, was a bit shaky and that's something that Coach Jimbo Fisher did say that the team would have to improve on before they head into next week's game. Very disappointed special teams that they dropped two punts and two guys that haven't done it all camp. Uh, we didn't punch the ball particularly well at times, and Roberto kicks two balls out of bounds. We've got to get those things fixed, because that is something that needs to work. We can punt, we can kick, and we need that to be a strength. Now, the Rattlers put up quite a contest as well on Saturday against the USF Bulls. At least in the first half. Uh, the score ended up being 51-3 in a rout. But some of the positives from the game were the FAMU defense. Uh, Keel Blunt led them with 11 tackles. And they played pretty well in the first half. They held the, the Bulls to 16 points. And uh, after that, the game kind of got away from them. Well, obviously, you know, they, they played well. I mean, they played well enough for us to, to win. We, we needed to provide some help for them, you know, from, from an offensive standpoint. And, and, I, and special teams, and I thought we did from a special team standpoint. We just, just couldn't do what we wanted to do or plan to do from an offensive standpoint to, to help that, that situation. Um, in the first half, we played well. Second half, we kind of came apart, and there were jobs where we didn't make them work for some of the scores as, as hard as we made them work in the uh, first half. So, I mean, that's really the biggest thing is just making the offense work as hard as possible. Just going into this next week, we want to make sure that we're our, our heads are all straight because we know that tough loss can, can bring a lot of negative energy into the field house. And, and uh, we just want to make sure the guys are confident in their ability and that they can uh, take on this new team coming up. The Bulls reeled off 35 points in the second half, and they just weren't able to keep up. The depth got to them eventually, but the sign was positive for FAMU moving forward.